What's up, everybody? It's the Tebbets back with some more Star Wars The Old Republic. Today, we are going to take Farseer to the smuggler's moon of Narshada. Narshada is the next stop in our story. We are on the trail of Darth Angrel's research facilities. We know that there is the possibility that the, that one is located on Narshada. Darth Angrel is using a combination of Republic and Sith Empire research to create different types of super weapons. We're currently on the Republic fleet, so once I log in here, we're going to go on down to my ship and head on over to Narshada. Narshada is another planet-wide city. I, I say planet, it's a, it's, a, it's a moon. Narshada actually orbits the Hut homeworld of Nalhutta. It's known in the universe as the Smuggler's Moon. There's a lot of smuggling activity that goes on there. Um, you know, it's it's. I mean, it's wholly owned and operated by the Hut criminal organizations, the Kajiks. Kajiks, I think is how you say it, is how you say what they are. Kajitic, Kajik. I don't speak Huttese, <laughs> so I, you know, my pronunciation is probably off. I could probably save some time here and hop on my speeder, but, you know, I'm already <laughs> all the way up here. Now, where is the Jedi, Jedi Consular, Republic Trooper? That's a nice Rancor mount. Here we are, Jedi Knight Turbo Lift. So it just, always just takes a minute for your ship to spawn in. One of these days we're going to have to do some Starfighter stuff, too. Well, not Starfighter, but the space combat. <laughs> I'm actually pretty... I've, I've tried my hand at the Starfighter content and am really bad at it. <laughs> it's just... It's another... It's a PvP-type game mode. Uh, you know, sort of like... I don't know. It's I'm just really bad at it, so I tend not to do it. Uh, all right, here is Narshada. General, I've arrived on Narshada. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. After terrorist Lord Mantell, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now. Project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we have no business exploring, using technology to turn ordinary men into living weapons. The Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head-on. The best defense against a Sith? someone like me. Your order was nearly extinct. The Senate feared you might never recover. Our Shada has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor, and weapons. Everything we need to create the power guards. There's also a distinct lack of government oversight. You're in hot territory. Neutral space. Laws are practically non-existent. It's my first visit to hot space. What do you know about them? Huts break laws just breathing, but they let us do our business, no questions asked. I placed a single operative in charge of the Power Guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits to fund the program. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. Darth Angrel's henchman on Coruscant said all our research facilities were compromised. 
Our operative's name and contact data were in the file stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. I can only assume they're dead or captured. If they're alive, I'll save them. But what about the weapons project? Our research can die for all I care. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on Nar Shadda. The Bureau Chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift to the back to meet with Raikin. Promenade, shop, secret turbo lift. Got it. <laughs> I feel like a spy already. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Marasuthra, out. <laughs> Oh, my voice sounds a little bit weird here. I think that's because of the outfit that I'm wearing. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah, if we look, the <laughs> so the this outfit has the pilot's helmet. So even though the helmet doesn't show, it's still making it sound like I'm speaking through a voice box. I'm going to change that real quick. We'll activate this one again, the, pilot, the Republic pilot suit. I, I still like this one, too. Now, he, uh, General Varsuthra mentioned a person by the name of Ryakin. I, I'm wondering if this is the same family. If you remember in The Empire Strikes Back, the person that Han Solo speaks to on Hoth and says, General, I've got to leave. You know, basically, like, like telling, you know, telling the, the rebel commander that he has to, that he has no choice but to leave. That person's name is General Ryakin, so I'm wondering if it's the same family. There are some families in the Star Wars universe that actually go back thousands of years, and they have played a large role in galactic history. So it's entirely possible that this is a descendant of the General Ryakin that, you, that we all see in The Empire Strikes Back uh, much, much later. So that's Hutta, or Nal Hutta, back in the background, and this is the moon Nar Shadda. Nal Hutta means glorious jewel in Hatiz. I do not know what Nar Shadda means, though. There, good as new. Right, Nar Shadda actually has a pretty interesting docking bay. It's much like the one that's located on Coruscant. I guess it's. You know, it's a it's a layout that kind of works for a for a f planetary city. Okay, there's going to be some mission givers out here. I'm pretty sure. Like, this is going to be the Nar Shadda planetary story. Again, going to skip that for now. We can always come back to it later. So, well, you know, while Coruscant was bright and shiny and open and everything looked kind of clean, Nar Shadda, on the other hand, <laughs> is kind of overcast, dreary. There's Nal Hutta up in the distance. You got a couple of casinos. One of my personal player homes is here. It's like one of these floating objects. It's neither of these two. One of those is a, ca is a casino, though. Um, like, lots and lots of just advertisements. You know, but the, the, you can see the sky is kind of polluted and brown. Uh, there's almost no regulations for traffic. You know, while you'll see traffic moving in in the game in orderly lines, that doesn't happen in Nar on Nar Shadda. Uh, we can come here, you can see, you know, it just goes further down. Like, it'd be, a, it'd be awesome if you could actually explore, you know, pretty much wherever, but this would just be such a huge, huge, huge undertaking one planet like this would you know be multiple games worth of worth of data uh, but I think that 
where I'm focusing on right now. I think that is where my next destination is. I think that's the promenade over there. So let's find the taxi. Actually, I think I'm standing right next to it. Oh, no, I'm not. That's not my... I can't use that speeder. <sighs> um, here he is. Vehicle pads are currently open for business. We're going to the lower promenade. Have a safe and pleasant stay. If you play on the Imperial side, you actually go to the upper promenade. And you come in from the other side. You know, you got skyscrapers, lots of advertisements. There's a hut caravel. Hop on my speeder. This shuttle here will take to will take you to a flashpoint. Now all of these guys here, they look like security, but they're really like hut enforcers. They keep the peace, yes, but they keep the peace kind of violently. Alright, this is the promenade. This is Lucent Square on the promenade. The, well, the, let me show you this big statue over here. I don't know which hut this is supposed to be. This is a a giant statue. This is where all the shops and, and trainers and stuff are. Is down here on the on the uh, on the lower level of the promenade. Here's my destination. As new. Not so much of a secret turbo lift after all. <laughs> it's just kind of right out there in the open. All right, Republic, and here we are in a uh, SIS Republic Intelligence safe house. That's the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. We don't know that. We know Agent Galen was captured. He's telling the enemy where to hit us. If it makes you feel better, transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. A Jedi who eliminated Watcher One. Glad to meet you. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. Wish I had better news to report. We're fumbling in the dark right now. What's happened? Sounds like your agents are in trouble. My subordinates jumping at shadows. Hazard of the business. Here's what little I know. Agent Galen came here to secure a top secret operation. Something hidden even from us. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Fortunately, he left a trail we can follow. What do you know about the person Galen was after? The General said it was the operative in charge of his project. More than that, I don't know. Galen left coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. Had to pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. Thank goodness. For a second I thought this might be too easy. I sent the Omega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. The enemy may be trying to flush you into the open, make you easier to pick off. Running and regrouping is better than waiting to die. Evacuating this facility is out of the question. We're safe here, and we have a mission to complete. I've marked the locations of Agent Galen's dead drops. 
Download his messages to your holo and contact me. I'll decode them. Let's get some answers. Good luck. I got a feeling here that this outpost is going to end up getting attacked. You know, just something that kind of sits wrong about that. You know, like if the field agents are being attacked, then I would not be surprised if this location is compromised. Alright, back on the speeder. So now we will be going. Oh. Uh, terrorize some diners there by. Cutting through, the cutting through their eating area. A couple of Sith running by. Oh, I have to go up. Did I have to go up? Where am I going? <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going. I don't think I was supposed to go up there. Almost where I need to go. So I'm supposed to go to the Nikto sector. Narshada has a bunch of different regions on it that are primarily populated by specific groups. You know, you'll find you'll find a mix of mix of people all over the planet. But there are areas like the Nikto Center or Sector, or the Corellian Zone. They're primarily, you know, where you'll have a lot of people from certain uh, certain planets. Welcome. Please select an available travel route. You'll have certain, you know, certain populations from certain planets living in, you know, in close proximity to each other. Have a safe and pleasant stay. All right, this one's actually pretty far away. That's the Imperial landing pad right there. Nikto and Corellian sectors. See about finding these dead drops. You'll live. Now there's going to be gang activity in this area, which is why the SIS agent Ke uh, Chief Riken was saying that the whole area has gone hostile. exactly am I going? Okay, so we'll actually take a left here, go, gra go grab the furthest one away first. There, good as new. Why does this remind me of the TARDIS? <laughs> it, <laughs> it looks like a blue police box. Like seriously, tell me that does not look like the TARDIS. <laughs> I wonder if they did that on purpose. 
You're fine. If I get too close to these guys, unlike some of the other areas, I'll be shot at. And if you get shot at, you actually have a pretty good a pretty good chance of getting knocked off of your bike. Probably go around these guys and not have to fight them. Nope, looks like I'm gonna get too close. <laughs> That's fine. Good as just... new. All right. Well, there's no. That's good to know. There's no bonus for defeating a certain number of Nikto. Oh, too close. I had a feeling those guys would be too close and I'd trigger a fight. Alright, time to contact Chief Riken. Chief Riken, I've downloaded all of Agent Galen's coded messages. Transmitting a decryption signal to your holo. The scrambling? Hmm. Times and locations, standard tracking details, and one priority holo. Bring that back now. Found our lead operative. Dead. He'd been tortured. The power guard data files are missing. No clues to the main facility's location, but there was evidence of a recruitment center here. The project was using refugees as test subjects. The recruitment center's my best shot at finding the main facility. I'm going in. Leaving the site's coordinates just in case. Galen out. So Guts going in there alone. Not sure what's worse. The enemy stealing our weapons project, or us experimenting on refugees. I'm shocked General Varsuthra permitted illegal testing. With all the layers of secrecy, he probably didn't know. Agent Galen, or whoever got him, holds the key to recovering the Power Guard project. The trail ends at that recruitment center. You need to get inside there, find out what's happened. Good luck, Riken out. So that's not too far away. Okay, so I've cut out a little bit of the travel to get back to here. The location that we're going to uh, is the Power Guard Recruitment Center. Um, but I am going to actually stop here for now. We will go into the Recruitment Center and finish off this quest tomorrow. This is where I'm going to leave it today, guys. We have tracked down the last known location of Agent Galen. He is in the Power Guard Recruitment Center, and we will be going into there the next time I log on to record some more for Farseer. The Power Guard is, of course, the... It, it, it sounds almost like a super soldier program. It's probably cybernetic enhancements mixed with some other types of, you know, physical augmentation. From what it sounds like, though, is the person who was in charge of the operation here on Nar Shada was taking advantage of the fact that there basically are no regulations and was doing whatever they saw fit to advance the advance the project including experimentation on regular civilians hopefully we'll be able to put a stop to that we will find out what happened to agent galen i'm kind of i'm hoping he's still alive but you know there's and it's entirely possible that he is already uh, fallen victim to the Sith. 
So if you enjoyed the video today, everyone, go ahead and drop a like on there for me. Comments are always welcome. You can subscribe if you want. I do a couple of videos each week. And until the next time, everyone, may the force be with you.